once again, Mr. Basie, uh, thank you very much for your support. I'm sure the uh, president of the Fiji Secondary Schools will also uh, voice his uh, gratitude because we are confident that this is uh, the under 18 so our school boys is our um, breeding ground for our world business. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it's, this is a very important time. Uh, it's the realization of something that we've been working with, uh, especially from the Commission. All along we're giving money out to uh, assist our national teams in travelling overseas. But there's always been a bit of a gap there. But last year we were able to assist the um, secondary schools rugby team as well. And the results of that were outstanding and um, show that this is where our future is in the um, schoolboys teams. So uh, in knowing that school, secondary schools rugby now is affiliated with FRU, it's made a big change to the whole pattern. And I think like the CEO is just saying, they've had the use of the national coach, who as you know is also um, fully funded by the commission. Um, also they've got assistance of all the sponsors from Fiji Rugby and so now it allows us to assist them more and uh, the future will look a lot better on that. The one thing that we've lacked in not just in rugby actually but in sports in Fiji is clear pathways. We tend to split it with secondary schools and primary schools before that forgetting that we really have to have development squads to get up to that number one team. And our aim really is that with having an international coach to rugby union, he's not there to just coach the international team. He's there to be responsible and assist in coaching the development squad. And that's within the contract we have with FRU. And that development squad is what comes from our secondary schools. But I think, like I keep trying to push, sports is now professional. We all know it. It provides huge finances to Fiji's economy. It's not just, we're now learning, it's not just the 100 million or more that's contributed by rugby players, rugby league, and various other sports people who send remittances back to Fiji. We just did a, we just had a number of tennis tournaments. And tennis is a minor sport. Uh, we had three tournaments in the West. The amount of funds they gave into the economy in, in the Western Division, in Latoka and Denera, through visiting people, was approximately a million dollars, just under. But to government and to our economy through departure taxes and VAT and everything else, it came to about $300,000. So where we keep putting more money into sports, and with the new government, of course, we are asking for a lot more in the budget this year, uh, we can show that sports makes money for the country. Apart from that, as what happened with the under-18s last year, they go to Australia, they beat New Zealand now, there's not many of our teams have done that. But apart from that, one or two of the players got offered contracts and sponsorship, I don't know how many was it, two or three? Was it? Four. four. <coughs> so that's four players now that even if they're on minor sponsorships earning 30000 you can guarantee some of that's contributing to Fiji's economy. So that's what it's all about in putting money into sports. And I'd like to see us do a lot more of it. And uh, certainly, as you've seen in all the uh, money we've put into sports this year, it's, it's been clearly directed. This is that same area as we did in assisting the, um, the young people going to the Youth Olympics. It's what we did in assisting swimming to go to their uh, international competition. And this is our contribution to rugby at the development area. So I'd like to sort of 
congratulate secondary schools and rugby union on coming together. I think it's one of the most important things that's happened in sports for Fiji. I'd like to encourage some of the other um, sporting bodies, especially uh, secondary schools netball, to affiliate with their parent body. Because the advantages that secondary schools rugby are now finding are there for everybody. It's just we need to realise that sports can't be split, we have to be together. Efforts in ensuring that uh, we are assisted in our quest to improve development in terms of rugby and also to the chairman of the Fiji National Sports Commission uh, for his uh, work, especially his vision in ensuring that the arm of development of youth of the nation they are assisted in every way. And we know you has been very helpful last year. We had a lot of uh, hiccups in our travel, but he assisted us. And again this year, uh, he came at the right moment, just on um, two days before we are leaving. And we know New Zealand is going to be very cold. We need assistance in terms of accommodation. And they have uh, assured us with their um, donation or a gift of $20,000. And uh, just the point, we must, uh, it's all our responsibility to ensure there is development for our youth. And I'm sure Fiji National Sports Commission is doing a very good work in seeing that development do take place. And I'm sure later on, we will all benefit from the work we are doing today.